let us now look at disease and pest management and these are two things we are sure of coming across once we are into this kind of production system. Diseases and pests can be detrimental if not taken care of. Learning how to identify them as they arise and how to properly manage them is of great importance to you as a farmer. We have extensively covered this in our vaccination and biosecurity courses and we have shared the links just in case you have not had a chance to go through the courses. Please sign up and learn more from these courses. For good productivity, keep your chicken as healthy as possible. When they get sick, you will always have to spend a lot of money on treatment and in turn you are going to make losses instead of the profits that you intended. Prevention is always better than cure. Aiming to provide adequate shelter, quality feed and constant care is important. Adhere to vaccination schedules and biosecurity measures as outlined in our other courses in vaccination and biosecurity. External parasites, that is fleas, mites and lice, can be controlled by maintaining cleanliness around the compound and within the pottery house. Pottery dusts can be used where the need arises to cater for this as well. Internal parasites like worms are controlled using dewormers. Have a routine of deworming your birds every three months so as to keep the pressure as low as possible. As a farmer, record keeping is your best friend. Record keeping helps you to understand exactly what is happening in your farm, what is happening in terms of production, in terms of health, in terms of treatments and costings, and any other activities that are happening in the farm. It is important to be able to record all this and keep looking at them so that you get to see your progress as you grow. Breeding records, very important, so that you're able to cap down in breeding and to have a healthy flock at all times. When it comes to the market, it is important not to overlook this. The demand for white meat is growing. We have family and friends, hotels and restaurants and markets and schools that are looking for white meat. It is important to understand who do you intend to sell your product to? Do you have a ready market? Do your research in advance so that you understand what your market needs. Does it need the white meat? Does it need the, the eggs? Or does it need both of these two? Understanding that helps you walk an easier journey because you know the kind of production you're going into from the very beginning.